Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly finance reading for the 14th to the 20th of May 2019. And if this does not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising or Venus. Okay, Venus is about love and money, so it's not always about love, it's about money and career too. So you need to check your Venus, alright? Okay. So let's see what is coming to us, my Capricorns. What is happening with my Capricorns? New moon happening on your uh, 11th house. So it's about future planning. Planning a lot for the future, it seems like, right? You'll be thinking about what to do next, what should I start, where will it all lead to, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so let's see, Capri's. There you go, nine of swords, sleepless nights, anxious, tensed, as usual. Capricorns, why are you always so tensed? Don't be, don't have to be so serious. I know Saturn rules you and right now Saturn is in Capricorn. But don't be so grim, okay? There you go, five of swords, you're all up in your mind. And the world, things are changing. Look at you. Things are changing for you. What did I tell you? And Ace of Cups. Who else got it? I think Saj got it. Ace of Cups. There is a good news coming in very soon which is going to change your world. So right now I see you are a bit anxious. You are having sleepless nights. You are not able to concentrate. You are so worried. Why? Because there are fights. There are fights at home. There are fights with your colleagues. There are fights in your business. The petty competition, petty arguments, it's like whatever you're doing, people just, you just don't seem to be happy and you're not making anybody happy. You're just not satisfied with what you're doing. But, but what is happening is you're actually going through a transformation. There is something very different coming towards you. Let this full moon happen and let uh, this, uh, you know, Venus Move to Taurus. Taurus would be your natural Aquarius Pisces. Fifth house. Okay. Love and uh, friendship. So let it move there. Let it move there. Once it moves there and Mercury uh, moves to your sixth house and Mars moves you to your seventh house, you will see a lot of changes in your world. You'll be thinking about the future. Everything starts fresh as if one fine day. You're like, wake up and wham, everything has changed. Okay? Because there'll be a good news. You are in this energy, you may be waiting for this good news. So you are so stuck up in your head. You're having sleepless nights. It's like, when will it arrive? When will it arrive? When will I get my offer letter? When will I get this contract? Will I be able to close it? Is it going to work for me? Am I going to be able to make it? And then there are fights. There are fights with your colleagues. There are fights at home maybe. There are fights with uh, people. Maybe you've invested somewhere and looking for return. And uh, your family is fighting with you. It's like every day. Had you not wasted money there, we could have done this. Had you not, so you're sick and tired, so you feel tensed at times. But the good news is coming. You're waiting for a good news or there's a good news suddenly going to come to your world. And when it comes, you're like, everything changes. Everything changes for you, my dear Capricorns. So it, it could be a new job offer. One fine day you open your mailbox and run, there's this new offer. The offer letter has been issued. So there you go. Your world changes. Everything changes. So, or if it's a business, or if it's something, or even if it's a education, it's like you feel stuck. You're just not able to crack the exam and everything. And one fine day, you suddenly feel this change, and you go to the college, and you see, what? I got an A plus after my exam. And all, I've been up all nights waiting for the results and I was thinking I'm going to fail. It's like that. Okay? Capricorn, that is what is going to happen. 
So let's see what is the energy coming towards you from my oracles. Peaceful. Yeah, be at peace. Don't be restless. Don't fight. Peace. Peace. Breathe in. Deep breathe. And let it go. Things will happen. Things will happen. Detach. Be peace, peaceful from inside. It's very important to be peaceful. Okay? And higher education. What did I tell you? There is... Just now I told you, one day you go to the college and you, you find yourself with an A+. Plus and you're like, what? How can that be? I mean, I gave my exam wrong. And that's the reason I've been up all, all two weeks. I haven't been able to sleep. And I've been fighting with people at home. They said, we're going to throw you out if you don't pass this time. You're on your own. And you're telling me I got an A+, plus, I got a scholarship. The good news, Ace of Cups, I got a scholarship. I'm going in. I'm really going to go for Purdue. Or I really got through some Ivy League. Or I'm really got this 100% scholarship in UK. Oh my God, my world is changing. I'm moving. That is what is going to come towards you. And World Card can also mean movement. So maybe you're moving somewhere for higher education. For some of you. For some of my Capricorns, you might be traveling away from your country or relocating your country for higher education. So be at peace with yourself. Don't have the sleepless nights. Everything good will fall in place. Just give it some time. Okay, so what advice do we have for my Capricorns? Please show me what do we have for my Capris. They're always so grim. They are the Saturn. Okay. Support. Oh my God, what is happening with the support card? Why is it coming for everybody? Scorpio got it. Sagittarius got it. Now you get it. So your life purpose fully supports you. Maybe it's your Saturn telling you, you're supported. Chill, bro. I want you to work. Saturn makes you work, okay? It's all about order. It's all about work. Saturn is like, nothing comes free. Take it. This is what you deserve. So just take it. Put your work in and then I'll see what, how much to give you. But you put your work in. So it is your Saturn talking to you. It's support. It's like, okay, do your work. I'm here to support you. Finish your work and then wait for the result. I'm not going to show you the carrot before you do your work. That is Saturn. That is you, Capricorn. All right. So that's all I have for you this week. So please let me know your story. And it's always nice to know what is happening in your life. And you can connect with me on Facebook, Discord, or visit my website, MinervaTarot.com. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.